Welcome all. Today we will see the classification of retail formats. You see, uh, retail formats are classified into three: store-based retailing, non-store-based, and service retailing. Under store-based retailing, it is classified under form of ownership and merchandise offered. And if you come to non-store, there are three types: direct selling, mail order, and telemarketing. In service retailing comes uh, banks, re car rental, and service contracts. These are all comes under service retailing. First, we will see about the forms of ownership under store-based retailing. Forms of ownership that is independent retailer. That means who owns and operates only only one retail outlet. Such stores comes under this independent retailer. For example, grocery store, stationery shop, or cloth store, which are owned and operates by an individual retailer and can easily enter into retail market. So these kind of owners usually select local staff or as family members to work in its own premises. So these kind of shops are passed from one generation to another generation. It comes under re independent retailer. So, so we will see discuss uh, uh, some advantages and disadvantages like uh, flexibility, lack on power, ease in entry, strong control, rapport with customers, independence. These are all the advantages of independent retailer. And some of the disadvantages are uh, there will be no economies of scale. Uh, there will be labor incentive. There will be limited access to advertising. There will be over dependence on owner. And limited resources for long-run planning. These are all comes under disadvantages. Second, corporate retail chain. So when two or more retail outlets comes under common ownership, that that is known as retail chain or chain uh, corporate retail chain. So groups of retail stores that is uh, like Big Bazaar, uh, Shopper Stop. These are all comes under this corporate retail chains where they will be having one or more outlets in different uh, areas and owned by only one firm. These are all chain retailers. So uh, while coming to advantages, there will be more bargaining power. There will be cost efficiency and operating efficiency. Then uh, advertising ability. There will be having more technical abilities. while coming to disadvantages uh, the time and resources spent on long run planning is one of the disadvantage here and they will be having limited flexibility and they have to invest high and managerial control is difficult here and uh, there will be limited independence for personal then comes in the franchising Uh, franchising is an agreement between franchisor and franchisee in which a franchisor allows franchisee to conduct a business under his name as per the business format for example mcdonald's pizza hut kfc these are all some franchising outlets where the franchisee gives a franchise uh, franchisor gives franchisee uh, a permission or an agreement or a a uh, license to operate a business under his branded name some of the advantages and disadvantages uh, small capital investment brand awareness reduced marketing cost exclusive selling rights these are all advantages and disadvantages like uh, there had uh, there will be having less authority in decision making and contract provisions cancellation clauses or disadvantages then leased departments uh, leased departments are like a shop inside another shop where a section or a department in a retail store there will be rented to an outside party and or a leased uh, like a license uh, license or permits that licensee here we will use the term like licensor and licensee a shop owner is called a licensor where a uh, person using that uh, particular space inside that shop is known as licensee uh, they use a property in turn licensee pays a uh, uh, rent to the licensor for using that property then consumer cooperative 
consumer cooperative is a retail organization owned by its member customers. For example, Saha Kari Manzar, Apna Bazaar, where these are all the retail outlets. Uh, the objective is to provide commodities at a reasonable price. So this type of stores, they, are, they usually offer products in a reduced uh, or a minimum cost uh, where they provide services like uh, it is like kind of, kind of uh, service uh, for a minimal pay. Thank you.